They see the dead cat on the mic, and they think it's something they need to attack. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we're going to pick up where we left off in the last two videos, and that is, one, we're going to get the Marines Hive moved into a 10-frame box and prepare that hive to go over to the Bee Castle Bee Yard. And then, because Air Force is dead, we are going to take the Army and Navy Hive and we're going to start moving those hives forward towards the front row. So basically I'm going to take them off of the rails in the back, put them on hive stands, and we're going to go three feet every day until we get to the front row. And we're not going to film every three feet, but that's that's the goal of mine is to get those girls to the front row. And I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time um, because the only other way to do that is to choke them off at night, move them at night, or move them first thing in the morning before they fly. And I'm just not uh, willing to get up that early in the morning or stay up that late at night and mess with bees in the dark again, especially if I have to use a flashlight because bees don't like to be hit with a flashlight when it's dark, they'll chase you. Anyways, let me get my gear on, my smoker lit, and we're gonna get started. All right, so here we go. Step one, I brought two frames down here. So I've got two fully drawn out deeps in this box. That way with those eight frames, we will have a 10 frame hive. Now, if I have any frames in this box that are not drawn out or are not drawn out sufficiently, I've got a couple more drawn out ones that I took out of the freezer. They're thawing and we can put those in this hive as well. The goal is just to make sure that when this hive goes over to that other bee yard, that it's in great shape. For some of you seasoned beekeepers out there, I want to ask you a question. <clears throat> I've had several abscons so far this year, and, and, and this one we know that it was because of ants. I saw a gazillion ants on it. Well, not this one, but the one that sat here, the Air Force Hive, had a bunch of ants on it. So I know that ants are what caused that. Um, the blue hive up front, what was it, the white hive? Anyways, I think it was the blue hive up front. It was an abscond. They flew away, gone. No dead bees in the bottom, nothing like that. Just, just the bees were gone. And then over to Bee Castle Bee Yard, I've had another hive that absconded over there and the bees were all gone. And I got to thinking, and I was thinking about this last night. Maybe they didn't abscond because of ants or something like that. Maybe they absconded because they were honey bound. Is that a thing? And here's why I ask that because the frames that were left in the box, they were clean. There, were, there was no honey left. Everybody robbed out that hive. And I'm sure the girls who lived there, before they left, they filled up on all the honey they could, probably went to their new home, came back, probably got more. The bottom line is that there was no brood, either uncapped, capped, um, dead bees laying in the bottom that didn't have a place to go when they were born. It's like they, they quit the queen, quit laying, they grabbed up all the resources and took or took off and, and flew away. So the question is, again, is that what happens when a hive gets honey bound? Because over in the Bee Castle Bee Yard and here, I have been feeding a lot of sugar syrup um, to make up for all the honey that I took and to try to prepare them for what I think is going to be a weak flow here in the fall here in Georgia. So just, you know, if you have time, put it down in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'm just curious. Anyways, let's let's get started. Let's get in this hive. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove remove the two mediums. We're going to go right down to the bottom. Hello. Okay, this hive is packed with bees. And these girls propolize. Woo! Taking you for a ride, ladies. Taking you for a ride. Oh, that is a heavy box. That box has all the nectar that it needs for winter. They don't need me to give them anything else. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so I guess what we're gonna do is just take these frames one at a time, pull them out and move them over, and hopefully they will have some brood down here maybe, I'm hoping. Hello. Okay, we have a lot. Of nothing going on here. I mean, the girls are down here working on the comb. They are storing nectar, and I can see some nectar in here. We're going to put them in the same order that we pull them out. That is not drawn out, which is the one that I'm pulling out right now. We're going to replace it with one that is. There you go. And here's a nice, cool frame of happiness. These frames are cool. Here we go. Okay, we have a lot of nothing going on here. The girls are storing, but that frame is drawn out, so we're gonna go ahead and put those girls 
right here. Okay, it looks like I checkerboarded down here and this one is not drawn out. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. And we'll give them this nice frozen one here. There we go, look at that. They are drawing that out. That makes me happy. So let me ask a favor of you. Now, I know that this is not going to be the most exciting video you've seen all day. And I understand that. Sometimes the, the videos are exciting here. Sometimes, sometimes they're not. Um, but you just kind of follow along with me in my day. And, and maybe there's a lot of people out there that are thinking about becoming beekeepers. And you'll kind of see what it's all about. But what I want to ask you is that if you stopped in to have a look at this channel and you think it's something you like, if you'll do me a favor and, and just hit the like button. It would really, really help me out. It helps to get this video pushed out there. I think it's the most important metric that they've got. And I've been doing this for four or five years now. And uh, I'm really trying to build the channel, and I can't do it without your help. So if you have a second, just, you know, click the like button. I would really appreciate it. It just helps me get this video out in front of a lot of other people. Um, and it helps my, my, my hard work pay off. Okay, I didn't bring any more drawn-out comb, so they're going to get what they've got. But they are festooning on there. And your last frame is going to go in. Then we're going to give you the medium and move upstairs. Beautiful. These girls are looking for home, so let's move this right here. That's where they're used to going in. Excellent. All right now, we're going to move at least 10 mediums in here. Okay, so you may have just heard something. Maybe not. I don't know whether I'm going to leave it in the video. But I've kind of invented something else, and I'm going to show you either in today's video or next week's video. You may have to stand by. You may see it. It may help. Maybe on the thumbnail. I don't know, but you're going to like it. I like it. it I just proved that it works. It works. Okay. Let's set this right here. Let's start uh, looking for frames that are full of brood. <sighs> That's a problem. All right. Let's have a look. What we want is we want brood frames. If it doesn't have brood. Right now I don't want it because I've only got room for 10 frames. So my 10 best frames are going in that box. And we have some honey on here. Well, I'm going to set this frame aside for a second. We're going to move on. I need something with brood. All right, what do we have here? Okay, this is a solid frame of honey. So I'm going to go ahead and this one's going with them. They need some resources. It's a solid frame of resources. Okay, we do have some brood here. So this frame, this frame is going to go. Now let's see if we see the queen. I don't see her, but I have brood on, on both sides of this. So this, this frame is going. Put that right in the middle. Okay. Oh, there is a nice frame of brood. I don't see the queen on there. Doesn't mean she's not there. We know she's in the hive, so I'm just going to make quick work of this. Again, we only need 10 frames. If I have any extra brood frames, they're going to go in these other two hives over here. Okay, not a whole lot happening there on either side. So we'll leave this one behind. Oh goodness. All right. This is a nice brood frame on both sides. Let's see if I see the queen on there. I do not. Another nice frame of brood on both sides. A little bit of honey and bee bread on here. I'm going to set this frame aside for now, and we may, we may put it in there. We may not. Let's see what we have in the other box. All right. Let's see what these girls have going on. Holy moly! Okay, there is our queen right there. So we're going to go ahead and put her in here. She gets to stay on the frame that she's in. 
although that is a resource frame. We'll put that all the way at the edge. Okay, we know that our queen is in the box now. That is a, that is a good sign. Okay, that is solid honey. Oops, can you see that? Yeah, that's solid honey on both sides. This is a nice resource frame. This is another full frame of honey. So we're gonna set that aside. Now they are gonna get some of these frames of honey. That's gonna happen, but I've gotta find the brood first. If there's any brood down in the bottom, which there may be because the queen was just found down here. I wanna get it. Okay, so here's a, here's a frame of brood. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in right here. We know that the queen is right there, so we're going to go ahead and pinch that one with the queen. All right, what else do we have? Okay, we have a couple pieces of brood on this one, so this one's going in. Two frames left. Only room for two more. Hopefully it'll be honey frames. Let's see, that's all honey. No brood, solid honey. Solid honey and solid honey. Okay, your next two frames are gonna be honey, ladies. Here's one. There you go. And we have room for one more right here. The girls are not happy with me right now. Here you go, here you go. Room for that honey frame, it's coming in, it's coming in. Ooh, that's a tough one to get in there. But we made it. Holy moly, here we go. Full frame of honey there. Another full frame of honey. And another full frame of honey. There we go. There you go. New hive. New digs. I think you're going to like it. And here's your lid. All right, these girls are in good shape. Let me get their entrance reducer, put them on the front, and then we're gonna move on to Army and Navy, get those off onto a hive stand. All right, so the last time we were back here at the back bench, I think it was a couple of videos ago, you left some comments that said that in order to get the girls to draw out and start using the deeps on the bottom, I need to move the deep boxes to the top on the Army and Navy hive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rotate the boxes as I move them onto these stands, and hopefully the girls will start drawing out the deep box that is that is that is up. Bees like to move up, and, and that's what you say, and I'm gonna trust that you know what you're talking about, and we're gonna move these boxes up. Oh. So we are going to move this medium to the bottom over there. I need a bottom board. I have that one. I would rather use the one that they've got. We'll do some rearranging here. And this is super light. Let me set it right here for a minute. Okay, so now we need to put the medium box on the bottom. There we go. And we're going to put the deep box on top of that. There we go. There you go. All right. We have moved three feet. Let's go to the uh, to the army hive. All right. Well, I can tell you this: these bees are not happy with me. I've got bees all over me. They're all over the mic, so you may not even be able to hear me. But we're going to do this anyways. They blew this down, but I'm going to take this. Set it aside, set it aside, all right, this box on the bottom, I'm going to do a little inspection here, 
They see the dead cat on the mic, and they think it's something they need to attack. There we go. All right, now let's try to keep them over here on me. Right, if I can get rid of this box and just use this and that deep that's on the medium that's on the bottom, that's that's kind of where I want to be. I can't if there's eggs on here, I can't I can't do that. All right. All right. Now your hive's all wobbly. Don't worry, you're moving to the front, three feet at a time. Okay, we have little, two little pieces of brood there, a couple of pieces there. Now if there's brood all over the place, there's just not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do. That's all honey or sugar syrup. That one is able to come off. That's all brood. That one's got to stay. Okay, there is brood right there. A little bit on back. There's our queen. Let's cage the queen. Queen has been caged. She's behind me. That way she doesn't get injured. Okay, we have a little bit of brood and larva on here. It looks like this is the brood box. I wish I had some deep frames filled with, with honey. That would be perfect. We have brood here. So this one stays. It looks like this and this is solid brood. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... That's brood. And that is bee bread. This one had a little bit of brood on it. Um, what I'm going to do is as follows. It looks like they're going to keep everything that they've got. Oh, it looks like the queen got out. I don't know how she got out, but she got out of there. So she must be in this deep, I'm hoping. Hoping she didn't just fly away. That would not be good. All right, I hope you move. I hope you move up. Move up. Multiply. Use your inner cover. Three feet. We're going that away. Just not today. Maybe tomorrow I'll drag them over there another three feet before I go to work and we'll see what happens. All right, well, that brings us to the end of another adventure. Now I do have to say goodbye wearing all of my garb because I've got, I've got Marine guards. They're chasing me. The Marines are always first to get in there and they're, they're still on me. They're, they're pretty aggressive this morning. But I think once they realize I gave them a nice 10 frame hive, they're going to be happy, happy, happy. And the next time I come over here to move them to the Bee Castle Bee Yard, they're just going to love me. Um, we also managed to get Army and Navy off of the back bench and three feet closer to the front row. And now before we get to the front row, I'm going to have to clean up those pads up there. They're kind of rocking, and I've received some comments that said that people were getting seasick. Every time I would step on that one crazy stone on the front blue and white pad, it would make the hives rock. They weren't too keen on that, so I'm going to fix that before Army and Navy take the plunge all the way to the front row. Anyways, with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.